Hey, what is up, fellow Raiders? This is Vulcan Dan, and in today's Raid Shadow Legends video, we are going to talk about the upcoming changes to the Mastery Deterrence, which is in the Defense Tree. Of course, mainly because of this cheese strategy using Inquisitor Shamal against the Hydra Clan boss with all six of your champions in Deterrence Mastery. All right, so this one, of course, if you're still unfamiliar with this one, it gives you a 20% chance to counterattack and enemy when they apply stun, sleep, fear, true fear, freeze, or petrification. So, of course, the Head of Torment, which is uh, part of this cycle's uh, Hydra Clan boss, whenever you hit it and you're not under perfect veil, the Head of Torment will apply a fear. So, of course, when you apply the fear on, on the champion, if you have de deterrence on all six of your champions, that will give every single champion in your team a 20% chance of proccing this counterattack, which of course they will attack again and when they attack again of course uh the head of torment will apply fear inquisitor Sh shamal will remove that fear and then you will proc mastery a uh, demastery deterrence again so this is assuming you get good enough rng this can be potentially an endless cycle but starting december 21 they will change this mastery to have a one turn cooldown and they will also reset your masteries or they, they will give you a free reset for all of your masteries uh, for one time, regardless if you change their masteries to deterrence or not. So at least we have that. So if you still want to use this, you only have one more week to try out this strat. Um, and today I will actually show you what it looks like if you just have one champion under deterrence uh, to because maybe you're thinking oh i don't need to place everyone in deterrence maybe just one or two or three champions will do but i will show you why that is not a good idea so if you still want to take advantage of this one you have one more week left all right here we are this is the run and the team that i will show you with only one champion in deterrence mastery and why it's not such a good idea because maybe you're too too lazy or too tired to rearrange all of the masteries but if you really want to make the most out of this comp because you only have one more week left you have to make sure that all six all six of them are in deterrence so i'm just doing this video to show you uh what laziness will look like or what laziness will get you if you only have one champion in deterrence mastery and that is of course mother side mother side bell here the rest of the champions that i have here are in their usual gear i did not change anything up skull crown and ray are in more arena or oriented gear mashalid and geomancer are more of dungeon and faction wars gear so yeah just going to show you how this run goes it does, of course, get some success, but of course, not nearly as good as if you have all six of them in the Terrence Mastery. So, of course, uh, we have uh, a bunch of champions that have AOE A1. This makes sense if every single one of them is in the in Terrence, but since only Mother's Eye Belt is the only one there, as you can see, uh, we're not proccing that that deterrence as much as we want to and i i would like i would think that the uh hydra clan boss would actually get a turn quite soon because of course we are not proccing deterrence that often so yeah so the hydra gets a turn there hits quite hard so this is why if you really want this comp to work you have to have all six of them in deterrence and you might be able to get around maybe seven eight or maybe 10 million damage before the hydra clan boss gets their first turn but if you only have one that is what will happen all right so let me just fast forward to the end of the run all right so here we are at the very end of the hydra clan boss run and we only have a measly 1.85 million so this is this is an example of what not to do don't be lazy and just put one champion in the terence mastery because this is what will happen you really need all six of them to be in deterrence for this team to work and we only have one more week until they make that change uh to give deterrence a one turn cooldown even after that change though i still think that inquisitor shamal will still be quite good for the hijack clan boss assuming that he does not get nerfed yeah so we have not heard of 
anything yet. I don't think he will be nerfed because they already made that change to the mastery. I think he will still be good, but of course, not nearly as broken as what we see right now from uh, teams getting 10 million damage before the, the, the Hydra gets a single turn. Uh, so yeah, so nothing as crazy as that, but I still think he can be useful, of, of course, especially against the Head of Torment uh, with his passive. All right, so yeah, don't make this same mistake. Uh, don't be lazy. Put everyone in deterrence, and then after December 21, you can reset their masteries all over again. It is the Christmas break, so you might have a lot of uh, extra time, some uh, break from work or from, from school. All right, that is it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you found this useful, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video.